Hello everybody, my name is Tokreva and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3. And as you can see, last episode we kind of won the war. Well, sort of, we are still at war with a couple of nations. There's South Africa we're still at war with, we're still at war with Canada. Uh, we actually have an area here in Newfoundland and Nova Scotia. No, this is Newfoundland, this is an area of Quebec, this is Nova Scotia and Brunswick and such. Uh, so we could land troops there and go into Canada. Uh, we took India though. We have made a few uh, little uh, vassals, sort of. Well, vassals is more EU fourth term. It's puppets in Iraq, Oman, and Yemen, and Nepal and Bhutan as well. And Indonesia is now completely ours, and half of it is Jap Japanese, which is really odd looking to be honest. That we could took half of that. Uh, but yeah, um, this video is going to be for now the end of this let's play, but I thought I'd like to show what I'm going to do with the aftermath, and that's mostly just to create a couple of puppets. Uh, wow, there's not that much, uh, there's a little bit less popularity for the National Socialist Deutsche Arbeiterspartei. But um, we're going to create a few puppets, we're going to create, definitely create Norway. Uh, so now there's Norway on the map. They have declared independence from their former masters, but they're still puppets. So the thing is mostly so I don't have to have all these units up here, basically. Just everything is going to really play into Oslo. Also need to get this guy down then as well. So you're also going to Oslo. There we go. I'm going to create a couple more puppets. Because we don't need to control everything yet. Hey, look here. Um, India. That's actually a good one to puppet as well. Here we go. India is now also a puppet. Look at this. They even get some free units as well. Uh, this is mostly to just not have to micromanage everything all around the globe. Let's also create the puppet of Pakistan. Yes, you can be free. Here they are then. Pakistan is now also a free nation. Both are of course within the Axis hold because, well, that's our thing. Um, an exile in your faction? Really? We can Oh! Sure thing. We'll uh, free Ethiopia from uh, our territory. That's a good one to do. I don't want to give up Denmark or France for that matter. Poland? Nope. United Kingdom would be okay to give up, really, as a uh, special... Oh, hmm. Freeing Israel as a uh, puppet. That would be hilarious. Um, let's actually do the same with Egypt. The puppet of Egypt has been created over here. There is certainly a couple more nations that could be freed as well. But this is just making that all the territory not actually ours. Jordan can be released. That now exists over here. Mm, let's see. So we can free Palestine. It actually is divided completely between these two guys, isn't it? Yeah. Also remove the objective of Bulgaria on uh, Tel Aviv. Oh, well, Tel Aviv Yafo. There is another. Tel is that Tel Aviv? It possibly is. I'm not going to free up. Um, either of the nations there because that would be a little bit of a mess I think yeah Guyana yeah you don't think that's going to be there and then there's the United Kingdom we can free and I should do that and there'll just be a puppet of ours but they'll be a very strong puppet indeed hello United Kingdom you now exist as declared independence but they are still a puppet of course they get all the bloody territory that I don't want to manage Basically, oh, they even get the, the Israeli territories there, which is fine. So, yeah, we cannot free Greece because that's, of course, Italian territory and everything. So that's about it for um, production-wise. That will, of course, have to flip around again in a couple of months. So does they, yeah, they do get a lot of units here, of course, which means that everyone can just start getting back to Dover. Strategically redeploying them all. There we go. Oh yes, they can actually pass through that, which is amazing. So now the United Kingdom exists again, but it is part of the Axis uh, 
group, of course. This is all that is left of the Allies, which is fine. Influences USA and Vichy France. They're still aligning towards the Allies. Then, if that is true, then they are just that far. Um, invite to faction, really? New highest threat, Italy. Of course they are. Oh well. Basically, I'm just gonna flip it over a single day to see if our production actually fixes itself. Prioritize reinforcement still leaves us with 92 bonus. United Kingdom's cancelled the transit right they've been given by Venezuela. Interesting. Oh, look, we actually have a small piece of territory in uh, South Africa right now. Okay, um, everyone is arriving in Dover. Yeah, our production has slowed down a little bit, which is fine. Really, yeah, that's good. So, oh, we even have territory in the Caribbean. That's hilarious as well. Anyway, yeah, so... Um, this is not the end, end, though. I will come back. Oh, that's Vichy France. Fun. So I will come back to this at one point. There's just so much other Let's Plays going on right now. And it just doesn't... Um, well, there's just nothing, really. I want to don't want to have this game also just pushing on everything, you know. It's... There's just a lot of stuff to play right now, and Hearts of Iron, it's already, this is the 89th episode, so it's been going on for almost, no, it has been going on for more than 45 hours, I think, by now. If you collect all episodes together, it'll definitely accrue to uh, 85 hours, but there's still one thing we'll have to do when we do come back. Of course, it's taking bloody Spain, because Spain needs to be part of the axis as well. Victory conditions, we need... Don't we control Gibraltar? No, we need Tangier as well, which is, of course, Spanish. Huh. And then there is, of course, controlling Honolulu. So, yeah, anyway, I want to thank you all so much for uh, watching this Let's Play for a long, as long as it's been going on. It's been a while. We've defeated everyone that we wanted to defeat. A lot of people are now our friends, or, well, we've basically puppeted them. So other than that, I just want to say thank you all for watching, and um, I guess I'll see you guys later.